It's better than Diet Mountain Dew. Nurse's opinion on should you drink these or not. There's nothing wrong with them, guys. I'm kind of wired. Uh-oh, guys. This is my first ever Monster Energy drink, and you can blame Raylan's nurse because she's like, Hey, this watermelon zero sugar monster is really good. And I was like, hmm, and I have a lot to do today. So today's schedule... I started work at 3.30 this morning. Hello, I'm teacher Abby. And then I worked until 7.30 a.m. Then I had a Zoom class from 10 to 11. I got some schoolwork stuff done between then. Then I took a nap from 12.30 to about 2.30. And then I've been doing school stuff this afternoon, helping the kids with a little bit of stuff. But then now, tonight, we have a brand new nurse training, so I will be up just showing her all the stuff we do with Raylan, which takes a little bit longer to do something if, you know, if you're having someone watch and observe. So I'm going to be in charge of that tonight, and I'm going to try to get a bunch of schoolwork done. So I'm like, hmm, I will try them. And I went to the gas station, and it was cheapest if you bought three, of course, the price goes down. So I bought three. I'm like, it's better than Diet Mountain Dew. I don't like Diet Mountain Dew, my husband. He drinks way too many of those. It's basically, I think, a big cup of coffee and some B vitamins. But yeah, I'm kind of wired between this and the big cup of coffee I had before getting this. So, working hard. Across, across the line, though, into Monster Energy drinks. I don't think this will be a regular thing for me. Honestly, I prefer coffee. But not bad. Like, if you're looking for a zero sugar caffeine option, I recommend monster energy ultra watermelon so the monster energy drink watermelon zero sugar worked pretty good i had a pretty productive uh evening with that so i decided to come back this morning and look at the nutrition label on it and and see nurse's opinion on should you drink these or not is it a good choice or not and i really don't see anything questionable in the ingredients. People talk about don't drink monster energies. Well, I think the questionable thing is drinking a large amount of caffeine on a daily basis. And that would include coffee is, is not a great idea. And this is 150 milligrams of caffeine, which, hold on, let me do a quick little search, is 95 milligrams. So it's a little, you know, more than your average cup of coffee, but an eight ounce coffee Mm, this is a 12 ounce cup, expect to get 95 milligrams. So amount varies, but it's like a strong cup of coffee as far as the caffeine content. Now I had a cup of coffee before my Monster Energy drink. So I really had a lot of caffeine, which I think is fine on a irregular basis. And a lot of people that want to complain that kids shouldn't be drinking Monster Energy drinks know how to drink a pot of coffee. So I don't put a lot of weight in what they say. Other ingredients in here, erythritol and I believe Splenda are the fake sugars being used. Everyone's got an opinion on fake sugars versus real sugar. Personally, for me, I think my body appreciates fake sugar more than real sugar as far as not having a crash. I can kind of feel that. If I eat a lot of carbs without a lot of fat or fiber, I can kind of feel the crash afterwards. Whatever your opinion is on fake sugar. If you drink Diet Coke, you're drinking fake sugar. If you don't drink Diet Coke, you probably don't want a Monster Zero Energy. It's got the same kind of fake sugar. Sucralose, though, and erythritol. Erythritol is one of my favorite uh, fake sugars. It does have those two grams of erythritol add six grams of carbohydrate. Uh, I don't know a lot about erythritol. I read about it one time, but I forget. I think it's more natural. Than, it's definitely more natural than aspartame. It can be found in raspberries and in certain fruits and vegetables, I think, in very small quantities. It's it's a natural, so I guess it's not a fake sugar, but it's a low, low, low calorie sugar. It kind of has a cooling effect. I don't love it in baked goods, but it's, it's probably my favorite fake sugar for like a candy, if I was looking at what type of fake sugar was in stuff. I can't stand stevia. If you like stevia, I really think some people's taste buds tasted different than other people's because stevia to me tastes awful. Uh, there's no stevia in this. Now stevia is a, one of your safer forms of fake sugar, but if you don't like how it tastes at all, it doesn't matter. Okay, other stuff that's in energy drinks that revs you up, 
I think is the B vitamins. And this has 250% of your B3, 240% of your B6, 490% of your B12, and 400% of your B5. One thing to know about B vitamins is they're water soluble. That means it is next to impossible to overdose on them. Vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin E, you can overdose on those. You can get too many of them. It's pretty hard to overdose on vitamin D. Most of us are pretty deficient in that one. As a matter of fact, I think in the next few years, they'll update the recommended daily allowance for that because a lot of studies have shown we should be taking more than we do. That aside, you're not going to get sick from taking too many B vitamins. As a matter of fact, Raylan takes B6. They call it paradoxal 5-phosphate. And I don't know exactly. It means it's an activated form of B6. And she takes 100 milligrams of B6 three times a day. Okay? So she's taken 300 milligrams of B6. And this has in it, hmm, it doesn't say how much. It just says 240%. But I have this other thing. Okay, I'm not kidding, guys. B6, 240 50% of it, which the Monster Energy has 240% of your B6, okay? I see right here on the multivitamin I like that I'm going to talk about next, it has 4.25 milligrams of B6, which is equal to 250%. So this has probably about 4.2 milligrams of B6. We give Raylan 100 100 milligrams of B6 three times a day. You're not going to overdose on B6 for sure by taking this. Anyways, this gave me energy. It gave me a lot of energy. I didn't feel like I crashed afterwards. I didn't guzzle it. To me, it tasted pretty sweet. So, you know, maybe if I guzzled it, I might have felt the crash of the caffeine. But I think a big part of why it gives you energy is the B vitamins. And there's a vitamin I used to take, and we will put the link below. I need to buy it again, honestly. I just, I don't take it because I ran out and I forget to buy them. But they're at Walmart. Nature's Way Alive Women's Energy Complete Multivitamin. High potency B vitamins, 50 tablets. You can get men's energy too. I I think, think the only difference is maybe the men's has even more B vitamins and maybe a little less calcium or less iron, something else women tend to be short of. They're darker orangish yellow, the men's are. Those vitamins, I don't take those vitamins at bedtime. I, I need to get some more of them because this energy drink reminded me how helpful they are. B vitamins, I've heard some people say they, they don't think it's real, but they absolutely give me energy and keep me awake. And I think that's the key ingredient in them. And the first time I learned about B vitamins giving energy is I saw some sort of little short documentary on Red Bull. It was the first energy drink. I remember when Red Bull came out and it was like such a success. It always looked gross to me. And I was, you know, you see the gas stations and the little tiny bottles but it was such a success and I was watching a documentary on it and it said it's, you know, it's not harmful. It's perfectly safe. It's basically all the caffeine and a cup of coffee and some B vitamins. And I was like, why don't I take a B vitamin with my coffee then? It was a big difference. If you need energy, go buy a B complex or better yet, just buy a multivitamin in case you are low on some other things like calcium, A, C, D, and it doesn't have crazy percents of these other, other vitamins in it. I will include, here's the supplement facts of the Alive, Nature's Way Alive Women's Energy Complete Multivitamin, high potency B vitamin tablets. Here's the ingredients. You've got 100% of your vitamin A, 100% of your vitamin C. You cannot overdose on vitamin C. That's a really low amount of vitamin C, actually. 250% of your vitamin D, that also is a really low amount. I know it says 250%, but a lot of doctors were telling people to take more vitamin D during COVID. We don't spend enough time in the sun, which is how our body makes vitamin D. That's not a lot. 100% of E, that's one you can, you can get too much of. 100% of vitamin K, I don't know a lot about that one. These B vitamins, you know, it has more than the daily recommended value you need. 
It's not too much, guys, I promise. It's got a little bit of calcium, some iron, iodine, magnesium. We're all deplicient in magnesium, I think. And then some important minerals. I'm going to go buy this vitamin again. The Monster Energy drink convinced me I need to buy this vitamin. Because to be honest, I'd rather have coffee than a Monster Energy drink. Coffee and a B vitamin is cheaper than a Monster Energy drink. But there's nothing wrong with them, guys. I bought three. I gave one to our nurse because I knew she liked it. I bought three because at the gas station it was cheaper if you bought three per a can. And I knew she liked them. So I bought three, tried one, realized I liked it. Thought, I'll drink these two. I'll give our nurse the other one. If I was in the mood for coffee, if it was a hot day and I needed energy, I would consider it again. It's way better than Diet Mountain Dew. Chris loves Diet Mountain Dew. I think that tastes... Ugh, I don't like Diet Mountain Dew at all. So that's my thoughts. Is it safe? Yes. It's safe to drink a Monster Energy drink. Is it safe for your kid to drink it? If you let your kid drink Diet Mountain Dew, it's almost the same thing. It's like three Diet Mountain Dews. Is that the smartest thing to give your kid? It's not going to hurt them once in a while if you want them bouncing off the walls. It's not going to hurt them. Or if you want them focused, caffeine does help you focus actually. Um, especially if you have ADHD and have trouble focusing, it can have the opposite effect. Instead of like, you're really like zoned in. If my kid drank a Monster Energy drink, I would not flip out. If they were buying them every day, I would question, one, their use of money because they're ridiculously expensive for what they are. Uh, two, I'd be encouraging them to take a regular multivitamin that had B vitamins. And three, I don't think a caffeine addiction is a great thing to have, especially that high of a level. That's a lot of caffeine to be drinking every day. But lots of people drink that much caffeine and coffee every day, and they're fine, and they live to be... 92 years old so there's my thoughts do you what do you drink if you need a lot of energy what do you drink do you drink coffee do you drink mountain dew do you drink energy drinks do you drink red bull i tried i think i got a sample red bull one time for free i forget where i got it from or how i got it but i had one i tried it i like took like a little sip of it that was gross guys i mean i can't imagine that people were buying those because they tasted good because it was gross i thought and I didn't finish it. I just threw it away. I was like, oh, yuck. No, coffee for me, B vitamins for me. But that's what they are. Energy drinks are caffeine and B vitamins, and they work. Try it if you need energy. Or try coffee and this multivitamin. I'm, I'm going to order them. I definitely realize now, oh, I need to reorder my vitamins because, yeah, my body's missing them, I think. That's it. What do you drink? <laughs>